Can Australia win the FIFA Women's World Cup on home soil today? We are going to be playing as the Matildas. First thing first is to set up the squad, and here's what it's looking like for our Matildas lineup. Of course, Sam Kerr, the captain up top. Midfield's an interesting one, but we're going to start to make Yallop in that number 10 position. Van Egmond and Gori playing behind her. Ford and Rasser off the wings. And a very solid back line of Carpenter, Polginghorn, Kennedy, and Catley. Mackenzie Arnold in goals. Plenty of exciting options off the bench as well with Kaya Simon, Courtney Vine, Mary Fowler, Cooney Cross there as well. And of course, the four teams making up Group B here. Australia, Republic of Ireland, Nigeria, and Canada. First group stage match against the Republic of Ireland. Aussie fans filling up the streets. Excited for this one. Australia certainly heading into this game as favourites. It'll be important for Australia to start the group stage with a victory. Can we break through? Sam Kerr Central. This is a great run by Carpenter. Can we find Sam? 1-0 Australia. Great start for the Tillies. Sam Kerr, brilliant. The backflips are here. Trying to maintain this clean sheet if we can. Goal difference could be important in this group stage. Well done defensively. Sam Kerr making that run again. Can we find... Uh, it's going to be close. Taken by the keeper. Ireland pushing late on here. Looking for that equaliser. What a block. Steph Catley going down the left wing. Dude, what a run. She's away. Steph Catley, can we find a teammate? There's Kerr. The block. Catley again. Good strike, but it's a great save. Good ball here from Steph Catley. Got to find that second goal towards Kerr. Oh, cleared off the line. What a chance. And full time it is. Australia 1, Republic of Ireland 0. Good to start with three points here. So here's how Group B looks so far. Republic of Ireland actually got a win against Canada in their second game. Canada defeating Nigeria. So it opens things right up. Republic of Ireland, Australia, and Canada all on three points here. Second group stage match here against Nigeria. Forward play is good from Nigeria. Well done to cut that out. Oh my gosh, we haven't dealt with it and it's 1-0. Oh, dude, absolute disaster. We turned into danger. And it was a great finish past Arnold. He's Carpenter with an opportunity. Rolls it into Sam Kerr. There's Mary Fowler. Good defense from Nigeria. Rasso with possession of the ball. Forward for Kerr. She's continued to run Haley Rasso. Almost. The defender just got that tiny touch. Oh, Nigeria. They threw again here. Mackenzie Arnold. Has to come out to meet it. Nigeria, great play in the middle. They're in again. 2-0. Dude, what have we done? Too much space between the two central defenders. Nigeria able to exploit it and double their lead. Second half is underway. Got Hayley Rasso making this run. Can we find her? The ball over the top. It's gone a bit wide, but Hayley Rasso is in a good position here. Cutting it back. There's Sam Kerr with a space. Off the crossbar. Huge chance for the Tillies. Sam Kerr here. Ford's making a run, and it's a beautiful run. There's Caitlin Ford. Gets one back for Australia. 2-1. Game on. 63rd minute. Still some time left to find an equaliser. Nigeria in a dangerous position here. Well cut out there by Steph Catley. And Matildas could break forward here. Courtney Vine. She's just come onto the pitch here. Could she have an impact for Matildas? She's continuing a run. Can we find her? Courtney Vine down the left. We need some teammates central. This is a brilliant move from the Matildas. And Courtney Vine is leading the way. Vine. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Haley Rasso getting around her opponents, squaring it up. It's Vine. It's 2-2. The super sub, Courtney Vine, off the bench and equalizing here. Haley Rasso with the blistering run down the right wing. And there was Courtney Vine who smashes it into the back of the net. Australia 2, Nigeria 2. There's not long left, but could the Matildas make an incredible comeback? And find a third here. Haley Rasso in a good position. Crossing. It's Vine again! Oh my gosh! Rasso once again picking up Vine. Oh my gosh. What a way to win the game that would have been. Well, full time here. Australia 2. Nigeria 2. An entertaining match. Australia sitting on top of the group here with four points. Republic of Ireland, three points level with Canada. But just above on goal difference, Nigeria on one point. So that means just a draw against Canada will be enough to get us through to the round of 16. It's going to be a tough match up here coming up against the Canadians. Here we go, Australia in there. Very clean looking away kit. Courtney Vine over the top. That's a well-weighted ball. Sam Kerr's in here and could open the scoring and she somehow misses. Sammy. Sam Kerr. Nice ball into the path of Ailey Rasso. Matilda's looking dangerous early on here. Inside. Cleared away. Canada. In with a chance here in the box. Chance still on for them. Great save by Arnold. Canada once again shifting the ball forward and moving 
it very nicely and it's ended up in the back of the net the canadians score first Hayley Rasso again making the run. Great pass. This is Rasso who's in behind and equalizing for Australia. That is a very important goal. Canada again. They're in behind. We've let them in. Mackenzie Arnold. What a save. And it's in again. Absolute chaos here. I thought we dealt with it. It was an incredible save by Arnold. She couldn't do much about that second effort though. Second half is underway. Canada 2, Australia 1. We need to get at least a draw to go through here. Playing it out wide for Rasso. Inside now is Sam Kerr. Just looking for that gap, looking for that opportunity. Carpenter chipping it up. It's nice play. Here's Rasso inside for Kerr. And once again, this is Vine. Great save. So close for the Matildas. Canada coming forward. And Mackenzie Arnold saves the Matildas here. Can we break away for a counterattack? It's Courtney Vine. She's making the run. Matildas going from one end to the other. Look at the pace from Courtney Vine. She's in. And the strike is in. Late on in the game. It's Vine again, the hero. Could we finish off with a win here? Fowler crossing. Keeper claims it. Courtney Vine almost again. But that's full time. Canada 2, Australia 2. The Matildas have secured the place in the round of 16. Well, we didn't make it easy for ourselves, but Australia, we do top the group here. And it is Nigeria who get a big victory against the Republic of Ireland to secure their place in the round of 16. Canada and Republic of Ireland are out. Here's a look at some of our play stats so far. Courtney Vine, of course, has been fantastic. Coming off the bench, scoring two goals and a goal for Kerr, Rasso and Ford. But it's been seen Sam Kerr, who's been supplying the assists for the goals. You can see here already three assists, just three games into the tournament. Let's have a look at the group standings from across the tournament. It's Norway and Switzerland who go through. So co-host New Zealand and the Philippines are out. Group C sees Spain and Japan going through. Group D, England and Haiti going through. A big surprise there, Denmark and China are out. Group E, US and Netherlands going through there. For Group F, it is Brazil and France who top that group. South Africa, top of Group G. Argentina joining them as well. That means third ranked Sweden are out in the group stage. Incredible result. And the last group, Group H, Germany is joined by Colombia in the round of 16. And we've already got some results from the round of 16 here. Japan have defeated Norway 2-1. Spain 2-1 over Switzerland. USA with a big 3-2 win over Argentina. And then how about that last result? 4-3. The Dutch getting it done over South Africa. So a surprise matchup for Australia in the round of 16 here. We are taking on Haiti. England have Nigeria. Germany, France will be a huge matchup and Brazil taking on Colombia. Haiti, you've got to say our underdogs heading into this one, but it's important that we don't underestimate them here in this round of 16 match. Anything can happen. Oh, Haiti are in here. We've given them the space. It's a brilliant move, and it's in for 1-0. Great piece of play. They've found the space, and the little trickery to get around Arnold and the finish. Superb. We were unable to get any sort of forward momentum in that first half. Let's see if we can uh, improve things in the second. Forward. Nice ball. This is Sam Kerr inside the box. Great opportunity. Kerr, brilliant. Equalizer. Didn't take long at all after the resumption of the match. Sam Kerr cutting inside, smashing it into the back of the net. It's 1-1. Carpenter, switch of play. Decent. Over the top. Nice play indeed. It is Caitlin Ford. Catley over the top for Ford. Australia looking for that goal to put them in front. Ford. Moving nicely. There's Fowler. Now it's Rasso. Great play. Great save. So it is full time after regular time. Australia 1, Haiti 1. We're going to extra time here. Matildas are moving forward here. Can we find a, that play at the far post? It is Haley Rasso. Good strike. Great save. It's Mary Fowler with a great amount of space and into the box. Another save. Great opportunity here. Sam Kerr is making the run. Can she make it, make it all the way through? Sam Kerr, great chance. Kerr, great finish. And Australia going through to the quarterfinals here. So we are into the quarterfinal stage. We've already had two matches and we've got a massive upset. Japan defeating the United States 2-1. Spain 2-1 over the Netherlands. We are meeting Brazil in the quarterfinals. A very tough matchup. And Nigeria are going through to take on France. We are going to start Kai Simon. She's been coming off the bench pretty much every game. This time, we're going to start her in that number, number 10 position. Australia v Brazil in the FIFA Women's World Cup here 2023. Good early play here. Kai Simon into the starting lineup and setting it up for Kerr, who almost opens the scoring early here. Brazil in with a great chance. The strike's going to go over the bar. Brazil again with a good opportunity. It's through. It's Arnold who makes a great double save. And again, triple save Mackenzie Arnold. Keeping us in this quarterfinal tie. And that's halftime. My goodness. 
her. There's Carpenter. Look at Ellie Carpenter. She's through and she's away. There's no defenders there. Ellie Carpenter. Oh my gosh. Oh no. How did we miss Carpenter? Oh my gosh, dude. What a chance. Defender's doing a good job of jockeying us. But look at... Oh my god, dude. The pace. Sam Kerr with too much pace. Can she go all the way? Oh my gosh. What a goal that would have been. Still on here for the Matildas. Oh, nice pass. There's Catley. Great chance. It's in. The Matildas hit the lead. And oh my goodness. It's Alana Kennedy, the center back. The Aussie fans are going nuts. How about this? Beautifully worked goals. The defenders that were combining. Steph Catley teeing it up for Alana Kennedy. And that's full time. Australia get through to the semi-finals with a 1-0 win over Brazil here. So here are the semi-final meetings. Japan versus Spain and Australia. We are meeting France. France, we know. Extremely tough opposition. This is going to be a massive test for the Aussies. Nice play here. Rasso inside for Kerr, who's got space inside the box. Sam Kerr, great start. What a start here. And it's Sam Kerr with a beautiful finish. Caitlin Ford making a blistering run down the left wing. This is a good chance for Australia. Ford inside. We should have shot, dude. We should have taken the strike. Was that a... What? That's not a penalty? Well, the referee has just awarded a penalty. Alana Kennedy taking out the legs of the defender there. France with a chance here to equalize. Can't stop that. Caitlin Ford through for Kerr. Great chance, Australia. Kerr, it's going to fall for Simon. Oh my gosh, what a chance. Goal was open. Chance here, Ford. Here she is into the box and shooting off the post. Huge opportunity. Second half is underway here. Australia won, France won. Which team is going to go through to the final? France into the box, looking for that winning goal. Oh my gosh, how has that gone through? Early in the second half, the cutback. Oh, through the legs of Mackenzie Arnold. Not the start to the second half that we were hoping for here. Work to be done for Australia. France, good opportunity for the French. What a save. An acrobatic strike in Mackenzie Arnold. Rasso releasing Carpenter, who can use her pace to get in behind here. Carpenter, huge opportunity. And she's missed again. Just like in the quarterfinal. Breaks away. This one too high. And it's full time. Australia's Home World Cup run comes to an end. And it's a huge victory in the other semi-final for Japan. They win 3-2 over Spain, which means we meet Spain in the third place match. Japan v France to decide who will lift the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 trophy. One last time, Australia. Spain in with a great chance and have opened the scoring here in the third place match. Sam Kerr, she's broken away here, and she's going to finish to make it 1-1. Great goal by Sam Kerr. Spain in again here, and finding the back of the net. This could be goals galore here in the third place match. All right, with this being our final game of the tournament, we're going to make some changes here to give some game time for some players who didn't get too many minutes this tournament. Williams, we're going to bring her on. Uh, we're going to bring on Ivy Lewick at center back. Charlotte Grant, we're going to bring her on at right back. Spain in again here, and they've found a third. So Australia's World Cup run ends in defeat. Spain three, Australia one in the third place match, which means Matildas finish the tournament in fourth, which is not a bad result for the Australians. Looking at the player stats from the end of the tournament, Sam Kerr topping it with five goals. Courtney Vine grabs two goals also for Ford, Rasso, and Kennedy. Sam Kerr also with the most assists with Ford and Rasso, also with two. We'll be doing plenty of World Cup content here on the Coastwatch Football YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Thanks so much for tuning into the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.